Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this sports opener slideshow animation is done entirely using After Effects and it looks very professional. You can use it for different kind of projects. So let's see how to create this. Alright, so I am in After Effects and I've already imported a couple of these images. So these are just simply PNG cutout of athletes and I also have these video files. Now it's completely up to you, you can use whatever you want. So once you're done with this, just import them in After Effects. So let's begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width and height will be 19, 20 by 1080, frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can pick like 15 seconds, whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now I'm going to create another composition for our media. Let's call this one media one. Rest of things will remain same. Just click on OK. Now let's open up the media one comp and we are going to drag one of these video footages. Now you can use image whatever you want so let's just scale this down so that it fits the screen perfect now i'm going to move somewhere around here where we have this kicking happening so somewhere around here perfect so once you're done with this let's go back to the main and i'm going to drag the media comp perfect now i'm going to select this and we are going to create a null object so first let's right click new let's add a null object and i'm going to parent this to the null now, if I select this, press S, you can see that we can control the scale. Now, I don't want the background to be empty. I want multiple copies of it. So I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D. And on the bottom one, we are going to apply motion tile effect. So let's search for motion tile. Let's drag it upon this. And output width, I'm going to set this to something like 150 and width and height to 150. You can probably set this to 200 or by 200 as well. Now we can control this by using this slider, something like that. So first I'm going to set this to 100. Let's add a keyframe. Let's go a couple of frames ahead. So somewhere around, let's say 20. And I'm going to just make this like that. Perfect. Now I don't want the these layers which are at the bottom to be of same color. So we can apply tint to them. And let's just drag this onto the bottom one and over here we can change the map white color to a really nice green color yeah i think this looks perfect so just click on ok now we can select the keyframes press f9 let's go to the graph editor now if your graph looks different make sure you are using the speed graph not the value graph now i'm going to select this and let's make the endpoints like that now if i play back you can see we have this very nice animation perfect we can also add our text over here. So let's select the text tool. Now you can just simply click and you can type whatever you want. I'm going to type league. Now I'm using this Gotham Ultra Italic fonts, but it's completely up to you. You can use whatever you want. Bold fonts generally look better on these kind of animations. So you can pick whatever you want. Let's select this, hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool to make the anchor point in the center. Now we can animate it scale as well. So let's go to the very beginning and I'm going to increase this quite a bit. Let's add a keyframe. Now we don't want this to be very in, in the beginning. So let's move it like here and we can just move a couple of frames ahead let's make this smaller again we can move a couple of frames ahead let's make this even smaller let's move somewhere around here and i'm going to just make it to whatever size we have perfect now i'm going to select all the keyframes right click and let's enable the toggle hold keyframe so here you can see we have this very nice text coming in perfect now we want more copies of it so i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate this now i'm going to press s and let's go to the last one and i'm going to select all of these and let's just increase its size something like that now on this one i don't want any kind of fill so i'm going to go inside the characters panel so you can see that we have this icon so if you click you can see that it will get rid of the fill but we want the stroke on this so i'm going to just increase this value to something like two perfect so here we have our text now we can select this press ctrl d so that we have two copies and i'm going to select one of these and just place this to the top and i'm going to select the other one and i'm going to just place it to the bottom like that so here you can see we have our text coming in 
So once you're done with this, we are ready to add our second slide. We will add more elements to this, but later on. So before we proceed, if you enjoy my content and you want to support me, then you can check out my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So if you want to support my channel, then you can check out my Patreon page. Link for that is in the description. So let's continue. So let's go with the second slide. Again, we are going to add a new solid. So right click new. Let's add a solid. And for the color, we can pick the same green color. We can probably we can probably create this for now and let's apply fill to this and let's just drag it over here and we have the media over here i'm going to just copy this code and just paste it onto this so that we have even colors throughout just select this press ctrl v perfect now if you want you can apply the color onto these as well so let's drag it over here and you can just have some colors like these Again, it's completely up to you. So I think this looks fine as well. Perfect. So here we have our shape. Now I'm going to add some position animation to this. So let's press P for position. Let's add a keyframe. Now this is going to be our final one. So I'm going to move the keyframes a little bit ahead. Now in the beginning, I'm going to move it to the right side. Again, it's completely up to you. You can just move it to whatever you want, wherever you want. So let's select the keyframes, press F9. Now let's go inside the graph and I'm going to change it to look something like that. Maybe it's too far, so we can probably move it over here. Perfect. So here we have our second slide. Now I also want another text over here. So for that, we can select the text tool. Now just simply click and let's type the second text. So I'm going to type game. And on this one, we don't want stroke. So I'm going to just set this to zero. We actually want fill and I want this to be in black color. So let's just place it over here. Again, hold down the control key, double click on this to move the anchor point in the center. Let's select this, press S to scale this up. Perfect. So here we have our text. Now for the text, I'm going to add a keyframe for its position as well. So let's add it over here. Now in the beginning, I'm going to move the text to this side so that it comes from here. Let's select this, press F9, and I'm going to just change it like that. Perfect. Now, I don't want the text to be visible outside this area. So it's actually quite easy. All you have to do is just simply select this layer. Now, we are going to make use of the track mat option. If you're using the older versions of After Effects, then you won't have this pick whip. And instead, you will have track mat, alpha mat, something like that. So it's better to update to the newer version. Or you can just simply duplicate this layer and just place it on top of the game text and after that you can change this to alpha mat but if you have the newer version then you can just simply pick whip and just select this one now you can see that we have only this part visible but we actually want the solid to be visible as well so we can just enable the solid here so now you can see that the text is, will be visible only where we have the solid coming in so once it is over here i want the next slide so for the next slide we can do the same thing let's create a new composition let's call this one media 2 so things will remain same and over here let's drag our video file again it's quite big so let's press s and i'm gonna just do it like that just pick a point something like that yeah i think this looks good maybe a little bit further somewhere around here perfect so here we have our second media and we can probably select this one and let's drag it over here now I want this to be moving, but I also want this text and everything to move out as well. So for that, we can do this thing. So go to layer new and let's add an adjustment layer. And on this one, I'm going to apply transform and let's just apply this over here. But before adding any kind of animation, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to quickly animate the text and everything over here as well. So we have everything set up. I'm going to create another adjustment layer for this layer. So let's go to layer new and let's add an adjustment layer. And this one, I'm going to place it over here and just move it to the media comp like that. And we can copy the tint, which we have over here. Just copy it and let's just paste it onto the adjustment layer. Now I don't want it to cover the entire thing. So we can use the mask tool and just simply cut out this area in the middle like that, where we can place our text. Now you can just align it to the center. If you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Perfect. So here we have our cutout. Now we can add our last text. So let's select this and just simply click and type your text. 
so i'm going to type today and let's make this white let's align it to the center make it sync point in the center as well perfect so here we have our text let's place this below and i'm going to just trim this now let's press p for position let's add a keyframe let's do the same thing over here as well let's add a keyframe for position these are going to be our final positions so let's move it over here and let's just move them out of the frame like that select the keyframes press f9 and let's just make it like that perfect now we can add a little bit of delay so we can add delay to the text perfect so here we have our text now we can do the same thing which we did over here with this leak text we can have multiple copies of it so let's select this press ctrl d and on this one we don't want the fill so i'm going to just click over here we actually want the stroke so let's just increase it like two or three let's select this press s and i'm going to just scale this up something like that and we can probably add a little bit of delay to it as well let's select this and i'm going to just move this quite a bit something like that let's move it over here and we can just probably move it out the frame something like that perfect so here we have our text and everything and now our last step is to just transition between these two so it's actually quite easy all you have to do is just we have this adjustment layer make sure that it's on top of everything let's enable this out so we can add keyframe for position so first i'm going to select all of these and let's just move them further apart so we have it and we have our text now somewhere around here we can add a keyframe for the position and let's move over here and we can just move it to the left side something like that so that it's barely at the end perfect now we can select all of these and we can just probably place it over here you can see that it will come out like that now i'm going to select this and we can move the media back to where we want so i'm going to just move it outside like that perfect so here you can see we have these two coming in and we can probably select all of these three and we can move it outside the adjustment layer so that we have only the background moving out perfect now we can extend it something like that now you can select this press u and we can select the keyframes press f9 and let's just change it to look like that perfect now you can probably move this further apart to make this smoother so you can see that we have our first slide coming in and then we have the second one you can probably play around with the position of this bottom layer perfect so here we have everything now if i play back you can see we have our text coming in and then we have our final slide now you can play around with its position as well so here we have everything now let's add more elements to this to make it more interesting so let's add some lines over here all you have to do is just simply select the pen tool and just click and hold on the shift key just click over here now you can add some stroke now let's select this and animate it using the trim path go to add let's add trim path open this up and let's add keyframe for these two properties start and end now we can probably trim this now in the beginning set both of these values to zero move couple of frames ahead set both of these to 100 now you can probably zoom in select everything press f9 let's go to the graph editor and you can just change it to whatever you want i'm going to just quickly make it like that perfect now you can select the top keyframes and just move them a little bit ahead so that you can see the line now you can just place it wherever you want now we have one line and in the same way you can just simply duplicate this and just place it wherever you want so let's place one over here and i'm going to make a couple of variations so i'm going to make this shorter like that we can also do one more thing we can press ctrl d and on this one we can apply fill and we can just set this to the screen color which we have over here 
and we can have a little bit of offset like that so here you can see we have these two now you can play around with their offsets and position like that now i'm going to select this press ctrl d and let's place it over here let's make this one bold let's press u and i'm going to make this shorter now we can probably move it over here and we can just place it like that so here you can see we have all of these coming in now we can do the same thing over here as well so let's select all of these press ctrl d and just move them to the top now let's place them over here so as soon as it starts we have all of these going in and we can probably change the color of this one to black and let's pick a couple of these points so let's select this one and i'm going to press ctrl d and let's place this one over here and this one we can probably set this to black as well and let's just move it over here like that now it's completely up to you. you can just play around with their positions perfect so let's add these elements over here as well so again select all of these press ctrl d and just place it over here and just move it ahead Perfect. So here we have added all of these elements. So at last we can have a couple of colorful glitches over here to make this really stand out. So it's actually quite easy. Let's create a new adjustment layer. And on this one, I'm going to apply invert. Let's drag it over here and let's pick a couple of these points. So somewhere around here, I'm going to select the shape tool. Make sure that this adjustment layer is selected. Now you can just simply click and drag to create these very nice inverted areas let's zoom in and we can probably trim this out so somewhere around here let's move a couple of frames ahead press ctrl shift d to spread this layer now you can double click and just move this mask to whatever location you want you can probably play around with its size as well something like that now let's select this press ctrl shift d and let's just move this out so somewhere around here we can again make it appear so i'm going to double click and just place it over here let's move a couple of frames ahead press ctrl shift d let's select this and i'm going to move make it smaller and just place one over here so you can see that we have these very nice glitches and just move a couple of frames ahead press ctrl shift d once again and we can probably leave it like that now let's place it over here again press ctrl shift d and let's move one to this side so now if i play back you can see we have added these glitches and let's move this one over here press ctrl shift d and at last i'm going to add one to this text like that press ctrl shift d and we can probably delete this out so now we have added the glitches as well so if i play back you can see we have all of these very nice glitches and we have our slide coming in perfect so in the same way you can keep on adding more media comps and you can just keep on adding these elements and just keep on animating this till you have a proper slideshow or you can just reuse these elements and just create on your own so this is how you can create these kind of sports opener slideshow animations and you can see that these are very professional and you can use them for your client projects as well so this is how you can create these so the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.